Hello everybody, this is Mon PJC and welcome back to another episode of my Let's Play series. And in today's episode, we're going to be turning this area into a giant throne room inside our keep house. And if you want to see how I get on with the progress, stay tuned to watch. If you don't remember, we are here at the Steampunk Castle, and this is going to be where our people are going to sort of run away and hide. And so far, we've built some barracks and different bits and pieces. And what I'm going to be building today is that throne room. But as you will have already seen, I'm going to be mixing in some extra bit special bits. And the reason for that is because today's episode is my 100th upload. Yep. 100 videos have now been uploaded onto YouTube by me, little me. And to celebrate that, I'm going to be doing a little bit of behind the scenes, a few other little bits and pieces, all mixed in in this episode whilst I'm doing the build of the frame room. And if you stay tuned, there's a special announcement at the end and some things that we're going to be putting together. It's very exciting and a bit of a competition, but you're going to have to wait until the end to find out about it, okay? Right, so let's go and sort out this throne room then. And I'll show you exactly where it's going to be. So we're going to go upstairs past this, uh, the, the tea shop, <laughs> the mess room. That's what it's really called. And into here. And as you can see, we've got this big open space area in here. And this is where our king's main throne room is going to be. And I'm actually going to be positioning it over the back here, right in the center there like that. Now the model that I'd got was actually quite a bit higher than this ceiling in here. And I've also got the lamps showing through from downstairs. So I'm gonna to have to do a little bit of work. So the first thing to do is to get your frame in place. I'm gonna build other rooms around this afterwards, but let's get that frame in place and actually have a look to see what that looks like. So because I've already got a plan of what this room's going to look like, I've already sort of worked out the sort of the general dimensions. It's about 15 by 15 square, as you can see here. So this is the frame area that I'm going to use as my building block area. And what I have done is I've brought this wall forward at the back here. I could have built it against the back here. But what I wanted to do is preserve these windows at the back and the torches that are behind it so that from the outside we still get the glow of the lights. And I'm going to have to think about how I do this back wall across here, maybe bring in some outside light. But that's the general idea. We're going to have some roof, uh, some big logs across the ceiling here next. And we're going to work out the floor area and get the general dimensions in place for what we're going to have. But this is obviously going to be our main entranceway here and into there. And obviously I've got to do have a way of hiding these lamps that are being used in the mess area downstairs. <laughs> reach the ceiling when the floor is so far away well you put down lots of earth that's what you do and then it's really quick and easy to dig up again afterwards so I wanted to show you how I'm going to do this next bit of the build which is this area here so first of all I've actually raised this floor up onto half slabs which means uh, mobs can't spawn in here which I can means I can get away with darker lighting but this area here is going to be the throne 
and we're gonna have a go at building this up a bit. So first of all, I'm just gonna put some cobble down here to start with, and then I'm gonna take these two blocks out because I wanna make this look a bit grand at the back. And I'm gonna do that by putting some, hopefully that's gonna go that way round. That's it, that's got that bit there. And then I wanted to put these two underneath. There we go, it creates a sort of a, this is supposed to look like the back of a massive chair in that position there. And then I'm using different types of block to try and break this up. I'm not worried about this area here because this is gonna be the back wall. I'm not worried about this first layer in front here. So I'm gonna do that to bring a little bit of a rounded edge to it. And then the, the seat is gonna go in this bit here. So I think what I might try is to layer this up. Um, how am I gonna do that? Do I just want blocks? And then I wanna make it like a circle thing in there. So I might bring these two out of here because I wanna layer that up. Sorry if the screen's jumping around a little bit here. This is just to try and get some view of what it's gonna look like. So these should angle in like so. Hmm, they've not done that in that corner there. They should turn. It's probably because I've been pointing at the bottom bit and I need to point up there like that. There we go. There we go. That looks a bit more like a seat. Now, I don't know whether I want to have it that deep as a seat or just have it one. Let's try it. Oh, I see they won't actually stay in position if I do that, will they? So I'm going to have to put that there, that one there. And then that's going to have to be the step up like so. And then maybe just put a couple of stones there like that. There we go. That becomes our throne like so. There we go. And uh, yeah, it's not particularly easy to see right close up where I am at the moment. But yeah, this is where our king or queen or lord of the steampunk area will be sat up here on this big high chair. So now what I've got to do is fill out the rest of the room and see what that looks like. <laughs>
I wonder what it would be like for a day in the life of Dave. Well, Dave doesn't move around much, does he? No. So we're going to have to go on a little trip and have a look around ourselves. So he's going to be spending most of his time in here writing notes back to his loved ones about his days and his adventures with all his companions. And then during the day he might chill out in this lovely mess room where he might grab a, a nice steak, he might grab a drink, he might look at the beautiful artwork on the wall, he might have a detailed conversation about the war with his fellow colleagues. But then, more importantly, he might actually get called up to the throne room. He might come through these lovely wooden walls and enter this doorway, which is protected by an archer perched perched even on a high outlook prepared to take on anyone trying to get in coming past these the warm fires which warm these halls he'd be met with this grand entrance way which is heavily guarded by his fellow colleagues and at the large table in the center of the room he would find his master reading a note or reading some instructions on what is going on. As he reads, he dares not interrupt, but casts his eye around the room, at the flags on the wall, the glorious amounts of iron on show, showing the amount of money that this uh, rich person has. He would admire the, the throne and all its glory, too nervous to be brave enough to step forward to actually go and dare sit on such a throne. But his master would be sat nicely calm on his perch, awaiting to give him orders and instructions as to what's going to happen next. And that potentially is what Dave gets up to all day. And no, this table isn't what I first thought it looked like, it looks a bit like a poker table and I don't think our Lord and Master here is actually playing cards although he does look a bit like it. So our room is pretty much finished now. Now I might come in here and do a few little extras just to finish the decoration but as you can see I've put some iron bars in around the top there just to break up the textures a little bit, put some wooden plaques here because I was found standing here all I could see was stone and I've brought in these armour stands with our people in and I've made this guy look like he's in charge, putting him in some gold armour, sitting there reading a note. And the fires I think look quite nice and it means there's no extra lighting in here. All the lighting is coming from these fires themselves. Uh, you might wonder what this big thing is here. This is supposed to be like a big chest and actually inside it there is a chest with all my junk in it. And then the sides here, we have these doors which are locked, but you can see there's a button in there which can't reach. And there's a blind behind these. And these rooms are going to be for our Lord and Master for when he comes along and he wants to like prepare or have private counsel. So I will do those rooms out a bit different next time. Up here, we have our archer standing here poised with his bow and arrow and his shield protecting the hallway going into the main throne room and standing here I'm just having a look I think I might actually finish this off by putting some stone along the top here or maybe put some decoration in the ceiling itself as well so here I am in my lobby part of the world and because this is a uh, a, a server as such then we can actually get away with doing a few little extras and a little bit of maintenance in the world. And actually traveling around the world can actually be really hard. So this is a lobby uh, or a lobby world where I'm gonna be showing off other things. It's mainly for allowing me to get around the world a lot quicker. So each of these platforms behind me is a portal using something called Multiverse. 
and multi portals, which is a modification that's been added onto the game. I'm trying to keep this survival as much as possible, but it's nice to have some of these little features just added on to make my life a little bit easier when traveling around the world. Now, the main reason I've brought you over here is because I've got a bit of a challenge for you guys out there to help me with, and that is this thing. Yep. I have a big giant 100 subs challenge to do. Currently, my subscribers haven't quite reached 100 subscribers yet. I said subscribers a lot there, and I'll keep saying subscribers a lot until you're fed up with it and hit the subscribe button. So I started playing Minecraft back in 2013, which is quite some time ago. And as you can see, my progress has been quite slow so far. Uh, to be honest, when I first started these seasons, I probably started somewhere about ooh, around about here, 30 or 40 subs getting along here. And then I managed to get through the halfway point quite happily. And then we sort of got into the sort of the low 60s. And then just over the last month or so, I've managed to climb up to... The 19th of February, which is uh, just this last week, with 69 subscribers, which is fantastic and I'm really excited about. But as you can see, there's still quite a bit of a gap here. Yes, there's a big gap and I'm likely to fall off it. So you've got to help me, guys, because I want to get all the way to 100 subscribers and I need your help. That's you out there to help me get there. I need you to be posting in the comments, I need you to be liking the video, and I need you to be telling all your friends about how fantastic my videos are because you're already a subscriber. And if you're not, hit the subscribe button right now. And each week when I get more subscribers, I'll come over here very quickly and show you how I've been getting on. When I get to 100 subscribers, I am going to be doing a competition. I am going to be giving a giveaway and I'm still discussing with some suppliers as exactly how I can do that. Uh, so I'm not going to reveal exactly what the details are until anything's confirmed because that'd be unfair. But I need your help, first of all, to get to these 100 subscribers. Then we'll do a 100 subscriber video like this 100 upload video where we do mainly about a competition. You get to enter for free. Well, sort of for free. You might have to just do something, a little task of some sort. We've got to follow the YouTube rules, you know. And then I can actually start the giveaway, and that'll be run over a couple of weeks. So I really, really hope you've enjoyed watching this episode. Thanks very much for all your support and your help. And I really look forward to smashing through that 100 barrier. Thanks very much, everyone. Bye.
bit of a uh, normal sort of castly feel to it really still but I'm hoping with the some of the wood paneling and the big iron blocks and stuff like that in the background we can bring a bit more of the steampunk in and I'm gonna maybe try bringing in some other banners which have got some steampunk type functionality to them and maybe even put some stuff in here like some uh, acacia wood uh, which tends to have a very red look to it and uh, can look a bit like uh, metal grating or copper which I think would look quite good as an additional colour to bring into these areas. So thanks very much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have done so, please leave a like. And also leave a comment down the bottom as to what else you think you quite enjoy about watching my episodes or things that you'd like to see. But before I disappear, I promised I was going to show you one more thing. So I'm going to hop over to there and just show you very quickly. But until next time, goodbye. <laughs>